I'm kind of on edge. I'm expecting to get attacked at any second. This is a really big place for there to be absolutely no enemies. I mean, I'm more than glad to have, like, an empty place just representing, Hey! This was supposed to be a city hall! Look at what it looks like! But, uh, uh, still on edge. Also, I think this is what the city hall actually look- is supposed to look like. Because it's the, it's in the stable field emitter. So that means they made a really run-down looking city hall. Holy shit. Look at all the paint that's m just peeling all over the place. Crazy. Ooh, I wonder if there's... If the shit that was down in the mailroom is gone now. It might not be. This may be a second place to explore. Not- not the place down here, but just above. Now that we've stabilized City Hall, maybe there'll be some things around it to check out. We'll see. Let's open up my communicator. Nothing here. Right, no signal. We gotta go outside to talk to Kidman. Hey, maybe they'll send Kidman in. Uh, this thing's got a little bit too hot. We- we- we, we need- we need help. Insert Agent Kidman. No, it doesn't look that much better. <laughs> Damn it. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the Marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you alright? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Ugh. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah. Sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah? Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Uh... Maybe over there. Think I might have just figured it out. <laughs> Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. Okay. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. 
I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. I don't know, I, I, I still have a lot that could surprise me. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> It was kind of also amusing note. I like how the fucking administrator is just sitting in the back on a couch. Not even like in a, like a, it looks alright to sit on, but he isn't even like in a recliner or anything like that. He just has a couch specifically there so he can look intimidating with a bright ass fucking light behind him. Oh, I am the administrator. I have to oversee everything. And yeah, okay, sure. But in that kind of method, come on, dude. Ugh. That was just an excessive thing to look at. I also wonder if he's gonna, like... ...bust Kidman's ass for... ...obviously showing emotions. But maybe he'll believe that she's just trying to get us to work for them. I mean, we shot the administrator in the face. Well, inside STEM. I don't think he was the real administrator in there. Oh, yeah, I can carry more pouch or more medical syringes. Good. I'm going to obviously need them, but you can only get two upgrades for that? Wow. Considering how many things I've just like passed up, that's kind of a shame. Ugh. I like how it gets bl somewhat blurrier when zooming in. Not what I need. Not what I need. All right. Well, I guess we're going back down to the marrow. A little disappointed in that, but I guess we did spend like five to six hours in the first area already. I was just ready to kind of like maybe explore a little bit more. But things might just get focused down. And we just keep on going into the marrow, then back out, deal with Stefano, have him bullshit his way through things, nothing personal, kid. And, uh, then... Maybe eventually get an open area to explore again. Coffee! <laughs> I now have slight regrets about using the medical syringe from earlier, but, oh well. I could've... Stacked up onto four and just healed up here But I forgot about the coffee and I also thought we might have ran into an, would run into an enemy at some point, but we didn't Okay, so what do I have? 7,900 green gel That is Yeah, all right. Also, she said she'd leave information on Stefano in our room. So I might as well read up on that Is that the information kitty? No, it's just the fucking cloth thing. probably gonna be over here. <laughs> oh, I'm a detective! Okay, what do we got? Uh... Maybe she doesn't have the information yet. Okay. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. Jeez. Okay. At least he died fighting. Without him, that stable field emitter would still be off. Yeah, not that it's gonna help us too much. The way I see it... The way that I'm perceiving it is that maybe the stable field emitter only really affects the area it's around, but maybe it is affecting the entirety of the system. Just a tiny bit. Take a look at some of the information I was able to dig up on your guy. Stefano Valentini. Artist. Yeah, that's him alright. He's quite a flamboyant character. Seems he never reached the level of success that he wanted. Sounds familiar. I know of another flamboyant artist who failed. Then he started World War II. <laughs> Let's hope this one isn't that bad. Even if he's not, he still needs to be stopped. Yeah, alright, that's... that's a... jump. Yeah, I know an artist too. It was Hitler! <laughs> okay. Uh, STEM candidate, one... or ten thousand. I was just going to say 10045, but 10,045. Union is in need of creative personality types in order to simulate a real-world scenario. While candidate 
10,045, exhibits mildly egocentric tendencies. They can be chalked up to his artistic leanings rather than psychological issues. <laughs> I hope the person who wrote that article gets fired at Mobius. His background check reveals no living members to raise concerns as, at his disappearance. The recruitment board can, recommends candidate 1045 for STEM uh, insertion. Look how that worked out. All right. Stefano Valentini, born 1985, place of birth, Florence, Italy. Oh, good for him, he's Italian. Current residence, Crimson City Occupation Artist. Okay, and what happened here? Meaning of life through a war photographer's lens. Uh, question, what's significant about this photo to you? Uh, this was my last picture as a war photographer. Taking it almost cost me my life, but it also was responsible for my creative rebirth. It opened my eyes to the fact that there can be inherent beauty in abject horror. I may never take another photo with such meaning. You mentioned that it almost cost you your life. Could you tell us more about that? Well, you've noticed my eye, of course. <laughs> There's still a little piece of shrapnel that the doctors couldn't get out. They said it was a miracle that I didn't make it to my brain. It still aches sometimes, but I don't mind. It helps me to focus on what's really important. The beauty of life and the suffering. The fundamentals of my art. Uh, so he suffered a tragic event that almost cost him his life. And so he completely reevaluated what he considered important in life and what he considered important to display in art. Right. Yes, but is it art? Shock, disgust, outrage. These are some of the public's reactions to artist Stefano Valentino's solo show at the Crimson City Gallery. For this critic, the reactions were just as strong, but for an entirely different reason. While Valentino obvious, or Valentini obviously sees himself as a provocateur, I merely see a mildly talented craftsman who, is, who attempts to create controversy with a simplistic vision. Reducing the female form to an assemblage of sexualized parts may work if it's done for the right reason, to highlight society's objectification of women, but Valentini seems content to merely revel in grotesque, uh, grotesquerie for the sake of titillation. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> I wonder if that critic ended up getting, uh, getting the knife, because it's obvious that Valentini is probably a killer in the real world as well. So... Yeah, that can't be good. Okay. Whoo, we are so, so out of ammo on things. Just forever handgun bullets. If they're not gonna give me that much gunpowder in between everything, I'm gonna have to keep throwing points into my fully upgraded gun. Well, it's not fully upgraded, but it's doing pretty darn well in some areas. Back again, detective. Hey, Dot. All right. I have a key? No, I have two keys. Sweet. Okay, what could I grab? We're gonna go for here. Ah, green gel. Good, 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 good. And here. 40 gunpowder. Nice. I'll take that. I need that. So we're making decent progress in the the skill trees, at least. Again, we're kind of getting up to the point where a lot of the things I actually want cost a lot of money. And some of these are locked off behind other trees. Shit. What are some of the trees I've already unlocked? Uh, recovery. I could... Yeah, I could definitely use treatment three. I don't have any other red gel, so... There's not much I can do about some of this. I could go into combat tree, less kickback when firing weapons. We're gonna go for recovery, uh, or treatment three. Let's see where our options are from there. Okay. Combat. Let's try firing stance one begin kind of going down this path towards Bullet Cascade. I really want to find out more about it just because it sounds awesome. For a set amount of time, shooting damage is increased with each consecutive shot that successfully hits an enemy. The effect ends when a shot misses or when time runs out. I have to... I guess it must have... I, I don't know if it's like an actual ability that has like a cooldown or something, or if it's just, ah, you hit an enemy multiple times. So, hey, we're gonna increase your damage until it's dead. That'd be nice. That'd be a nice little bonus. Uh, 4,000, damn it. <laughs> Everything is so expensive. 
And now you fully understand what you're up against. He's powerful. He's also a sick freak. But he is as driven as you are, and seeking the same thing. You are more alike than you'd care to admit. Uh... I'm not like him. He's a murderer. Exactly. And there are no bodies strewn in the path behind you? I'm not here to debate with you. Let's get going. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, we just shut her down immediately. <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to debate this anyways. Hey. Well, I've probably killed quite a few people in our, our path to get things done. I'm a cop. Sometimes it's been necessary. And I haven't gone around parading their bodies in some kind of sick display. There's definitely a difference there. Okay. So now we have some supplies. I could... throw some gunpowder into making shotgun shells or even like a sniper rifle shot. I'll make one sniper rifle shot just to have something that, uh... can handle a few enemies. These are so expensive to make. Uh. Hey, do you have anything new in the shooting range? Like a super hard mode? No, nothing? Damn. Well, then never mind. I'm going away, Tot. I don't need this stuff anyways. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go back into the marrow. Well, before we go back into the marrow, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break, because it is 9 a.m., and I could use a little bit of rest. Alrighty, welcome back to The Evil Within 2. We are heading back to the marrow, which is such a fun location to go to. Maybe the next place we go to, after we go through the marrow, will be a little bit more on the exploratory side, like the first place. Or maybe we'll kill Stefano and things will dramatically change. I don't know. Oop. Alright, another handgun ammo pouch. Still not really getting ammo, but you know, whatever. A lot of people will, uh... Make really... Kind of... This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Dumb comment saying that I forget that the game is on Nightmare. No, I haven't forgotten the game is on Nightmare. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop bitching when I don't have ammo, because, well, I don't have ammo. Oh, but Gum, you could lower the difficulty to get more ammo. Nah, I'm good. Lily? Uh... Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Yeah, Lily... I mean, she could be trying to communicate with us still. She's still the core of the system. She might not have, like, full control of things, or... Well, really, I... I don't know how STEM works. No, 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 we can match this. There we go. But, yeah, no, she might have some subconscious reaching out kind of thing going towards us to save us. Like when we walked into a room and it was like, don't go, don't go down there, there's danger. Well, I didn't say all that much, but uh, there was danger there in the end. Oh, I hear noise. Oh, this must be the pouch. <laughs> they should give me like 38 bullets to fill this thing up. But hey, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. <laughs> this jackass. Why are they making this guy spawn out and look for us? And sneak kill! It's not like they gave me any bullets to deal with the guy. But at least they do give you like a good amount of time to like back off. I don't know if they intended for me to hide behind this thing, but it was the perfect cover to take. Is there anything back here? Oh, would you look at that. I need to find... I need to deal with... Or I need to find a segment... Oh, hello, what the fuck? Uh, how am I gonna hit that? Can I hit, just break this with a bottle? Nice! That was kind of random. <laughs> I just happened to, like, see it at the corner of my eye. 
But I want to run into a full stealth section. Not not entirely, because it's not like I like stealthing, but I've got stealth upgrades. And I want to I want to see how they work. Because we haven't had a chance to use them at all. <laughs> Look at their synced up animation. Where are you guys gonna go? Where are you heading? Left, right? Splitting into two different directions? Mmm, an explosive barrel. If I had known that was there, I could have led them over there and just shot the barrel. Oh shit! Uh, hey, buddy! Aha! I got what I needed. That was a risky thing, but we knew that at some point throwing a bottle into a dude's face allowed us to stab kill him if we were fast enough on the draw. So I tried it out again because I really, I'm really trying to preserve ammo as much as I can. Sometimes. Sometimes I go nuts, but other times, well, we can make smart decisions like throwing a bottle into his face. I think you have to get a headshot to get the stun. At least a headshot with the bottle. So thankfully he was sufficiently further enough down the hallway that we were able to just kind of take our time with that. I don't like staircases ever since Metal Gear Solid. I mean, I guess I've never really liked staircases, but anytime we have like a really lengthy section, I get worried I'm gonna get blasted by hundreds of turrets or something. Also, it's always unnerving to just be on a staircase suspended purely by being bolted into the wall. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is all of this gunk? Oh. The hell is this stuff? Right? Will it hurt me if I touch it? No, it does nothing. Huh? You know, the initial trailer for The Evil Within Two was like almost entirely in uh, like white and black goop. So, I'm wondering if that wasn't just symbolism. Maybe this shit actually takes up a prominent portion of the game. Oh, I am... What the fuck? <laughs> I am walking slowly through that. Or slower through it. Also, we like kicked off the gunk in our shoes just a tiny bit. So, we gotta watch out for that. Can I- whoops. Can I look at my skill list? Uh, from here, let's see. Statistics, no files, tutorials, here we go. I'm trying to remember what I need to press for this. So, Predator, press space when the icon is red, and then I can sneak kill them when the sneak kill icon is displayed. It says E, I don't know if I trust that, because the sneak kill is normally F. But we'll we'll see what ends up happening. So it's space, 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 space. It's kind of like taking cover. Ooh. Uh. Hey, TVs. Uh, are you gonna show me something? Some interesting? You know. Uh oh. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? Oh shit. I know it's hard to accept Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. She was right. You were right all along. But... But why am I seeing this now? Maybe because it's a relevant memory? 
Again, we are connected to stems, so our 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 mind has to be affecting this place slightly as well. And maybe we're feeling partially guilty about the fact that our wife was completely right about there being a conspiracy and a secret agency. Although now that now that we remember that she's alive and just like working with them. Oh. That's a goo monster. That's a scary goo monster. Anyways, we might run into it at some point. Oh boy. Exits D5, 27. Oh, now I remember what I was gonna say. I forgot they, re like, regressed the technology for the sake of faking advancement. So that's how can we see so many CRT TVs and CRT monitors. Although, CRT TVs and monitors inside the Mobius facility is a little more excessive. Ugh. What the fuck is that? Yo, what the fuck? Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Maybe I can sneak past it! Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna survive fighting it. I could try, though. I can shoot in the face. Maybe I get a lot, a lot of points, but it's probably one of those enemies I, I probably can't kill. That's not good. Why did it do that? Is it just trying to be spooksy? I want to throw a bottle into its face. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I were to step into the goo. Alright, the next time he looks to his left, or our left, we run. Okay, we didn't really run. I pressed E to do the the cover to cover run, but it didn't work out. Oh, I gotta get danger close to him. Shit. Okay, we'll wait for him to spin around. Part of me really wants to just shoot him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you know what? That works out. That's how come I said we had to get Nature closed. I thought we were gonna have to go all the way around these boxes. But he helped us, actually. Because now there's a box there. So what is this thing's potential goal? It's just kind of chilling out here. It's not really spreading the goo all around the room. It just kind of exists and wants to kill, I suppose. This thing is going to, like, pop up behind us and chase us through the fucking halls or some shit. Oh, no shotgun ammo. That's going to suck. I thought I had at least one shot, but I don't. I got to get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ. Alright. This looks like a fighting room. Look how big it is! Oh fuck yeah, we're gonna get in trouble in this place. Hey security camera. Is it following me? It's totally following me. Oh boy. <laughs> 